all right so the moment of truth is finally here kingpin got his tier 3 and a new uniform can he replace apocalypse because for war boss legend he's looking kind of underwhelming in the eyes of many especially considering the cost that's attached to this uniform it's 1750 crystals it doesn't get discounted ever and it's a seasonal uniform so it's here for a limited time means he has to leave a lasting first impressions so what i did was i gave this man some physical attack urus we gave him a ctp of rage and a fully maxed out power of angry hulk the uniform is at mythic and all of the options for him are rolled as best as possible everything's at mythic and he has the attack stats where he needs them and the hp just because there's nothing better to really give him i've heard talks of him being decent for pvp but we'll explore that option another time many of you guys at this point don't want to build apocalypse because for one he's very expensive he's a tier 2 native and his uniform is also very expensive on sale i believe his uniform is 1500 crystals still cheaper than kingpin but kingpin is definitely cheaper to build overall so guys what we're gonna do today is compare Apocalypse's performance in ABX, the one place where he's still relevant, and see how Kingpin does compared to that. Do keep in mind, however, that my cards are heavily in favor of Apocalypse. I have an energy attack proc here, and I have 30%, or pretty close to that, 29%, more energy attack than physical attack. So Kingpin is going into this at a disadvantage. However, considering the cost to this uniform, you know what i think that balances the scale a little bit well it's only um 250 additional crystals but still let's see how kingpin does guys um he has what 50,000 physical attack versus my apocalypse who has as you can see 64,000. now this is the build for my apocalypse no odin's blessings nothing like that and he's rocking a ctp of judgment um if you don't have a brilliant ctp of judgment in most cases, it's better to give Apocalypse a CTP of Rage, but I find that my Apocalypse does well enough with the CTP of Judgment, so I have no desire of changing it. I'll eventually go for a Brilliant for the guy. So we have Overdrive for him instead of Power of Angry Hulk. At some point, I'll change this to Power of Angry Hulk, but it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, right? The, the attack buff is pretty much the exact same. Well, not pretty much. It is the exact same. The only difference is the additional stats but this is the uh, stat page overall for Apocalypse. All right, combat super villain day. We'll start things off with Apocalypse and see how he does. And then we'll jump in with Kingpin. Showtime, boys. Let's see how Apocalypse does. I know my rotation for Apocalypse is going to be different than a lot of y'all. But, uh... He gets the job done for me, partner. So next tier 3 we gotta hold. Did we uh, pop it too early? Nah, we did. We did good. We did. I think we can get off one more tier 3 and then still rebuild again. Oh, he didn't even move to the center. You sly sly fox. Good thing I wasn't waiting for that move to the center. Otherwise, um, and also him not moving to the center kind of like cost us some points there. I 
Because we didn't get to hit all the mobs. Move to the center, clown. a little bit less than um what I normally get but it's not like terrible All right. yeah usually I get 8.5 but 8.3 is okay for no Odin's blessings and a CTP of judgment I think with a rage probably could squeeze out 8.8 .8, maybe 8.9 okay so I think with Kingpin what we're gonna do is four cancel five proc on five and then do three and then maybe one let's go Car keeps missing though. Alright, let's just wait, wait, wait. Let me go 6, 4, rock on 5. And we use 1, 4, rock on 5. We're using 1 so that the mobs can come to us. Wow, he's already outscoring my, uh, oh wow. Yeah, he's scoring more than my apocalypse for sure. Well, I guess we know what they made him for. Oh, come on. I stepped in the, the meteor. Wow, he's almost a minute faster than my apocalypse, bro. seconds faster he's gonna do his thing now well I was hoping that he would be able to crack 9 million that's what I said on stream the other day God, he cracked it. Yo, you know what? Let me do one more run and see if we can score higher than this. But 9.2 million is actually pretty good. With no Odin's blessings, we have like, what, 12 empty slots on this, man? Okay, guys, so I ran ABX a couple more times with my Kingpin, and we averaged out at about 9.1, 9.2 every single time with him using this build. So I think that's about what you can expect if you pick up the uniform, have similar cards to me, and you gave him a similar build. If you gave him the other Odin's Blessings that he's missing, the 12, or rather you give him a full 15, a full stack, right? Then he's probably gonna touch 10 million, maybe even 11 million. 
that's amazing but long story short we found kingpin's purpose he's here to replace apocalypse for how long i'm not too sure but if you care about abx and keeping up with the meta it looks like apocalypse is gonna take a back seat if 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 you have really good physical attack on your cards and you don't have a brilliant judgment on apocalypse i'm gonna need to reach out to some people and see how much they're scoring with a brilliant ctp of judgment on apocalypse but i don't imagine it's over 11 million and i think